a student A, B, and C will try to guess the house that student A has picked. For example, now let's say that student A has picked any of these houses. We don't know which one. Student B and C will ask as many questions as, as, as they can. For instance, is your house uh, number 15? And a student A will give a yes or no question. You can also say, is your house or does your house have two windows? Or does your, your house has a chimney? You can ask as many questions as you, as you can. Now, the student who makes the less questions and guesses the house is the one who wins the game. This is a great speaking activity, even for beginners, because you can create a finite set of questions for them to use by limiting the details that you include in the pictures. And also, the answers to these questions are a simple yes and no. So this is a great way to lower students' effective filters and really get them using the language that you're teaching. All right, class, now that you are in groups of three and that you know whether if you are student A, B, or C, we're going to start with this activity. This is called talent three times, three, two, one. I will give you a topic. For instance, who were the best and the worst teachers you ever had? Student A will have three minutes to talk about this question. When I say new speaker, student B will have three minutes to talk about the same question. And when I say it again, student, new speaker, student C will have three minutes to talk about this question. Then I will say rotate. Student A will rotate to the left and student C will rotate to the right. 